Behemoth Oil. From nine till five, it's my pleasure to toil in the formal gardens of Behemoth Oil. As groundsman in chief, I have firm belief that my labours are worthwhile. Broad and fast, broad and fast are the drills that drive through the earth. And they pound for all they are worth, they do. They pound for all they are worth. <clears throat> Perhaps I'm a little disgruntled to find how little I rate to the corporate mind. But what do I know of a billionaire's view? I don't have a mogul's mind. Far and few, far and few are the shareholders' grand estates. And they have armed guards at their gates, they do. They put armed guards at their gates. There may be days when as I arise I wonder the merit of our enterprise. But why bring shame on the behemoth's name? I rely on my annual raise. Force and green, force and green are the claims that the behemoth makes. Yet they fuel the shareholders' stakes, they do. They fuel the shareholders' stakes. I suppose if I had the time to care, would I wish to have bought an employee share? Would I now want to hold for its worth in gold a glint of the behemoth's hair? Guilt and shame, guilt and shame have no need to shadow my face. I tend these gardens with grace, I do. I tend these gardens with grace. I am not blind to the earth's decline, nor deaf to the cries of Greta's kind. But we chose the path of the behemoth, and our futures now are intertwined. Oil and gas, oil and gas, without them, how could we live? But we've set our sail on the sieve, some say. Have we set our sail on a sieve? Thank you, that's, that's it for today. It's free to subscribe should you wish to do so. And I hope to see you again. Bye for now.